Right now on this Labor Day, we begin with a severe weather alert as we've seen heavy flooding. This is a live look at Interstate 95 at the Thurber's Avenue curve. You can see the highway completely shut down in both directions. Many cars stranded there as we look live because of flooding. Flooding has also caused Route 10 near Union Avenue and Providence Police say a number of other streets in the city are flooded as well. Now check out this video out of Johnston. You can see the rain leading to flooding there as a fire truck drives right through it. It was a similar scene in Cranston. This is Atwood Avenue. You can see cars trying to make their way through the flooded streets. Of course, we advise against that. Let's get right over to Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca with the very latest. Tony. Well, this is certainly significant flash flooding, albeit very localized. Uh, rainfall amounts in a very short amount of time, anywhere from two to four inches of rain. And we're actually getting reports of, you know, based on Doppler radar, that some communities in and around Providence and Cranston may be pushing in on four or five inches of rain causing some of this flash flooding and the problem with this heavy rain is that rather than it come through and move out it's what, what we call it training so in other words the rain is just moving over the same area hour after hour notice there's no north or south progression but rather just passing over the same communities especially uh, into the situate route 295 providence cranston area right in here very very heavy downpours what the doppler radar can do is estimate how much rain has fallen and this is the concern right in this narrow strip from uh, situate uh, the lower portion of 295 95 uh, providence uh, cranston uh, amounts anywhere from four to five inches of rain over several hours and this is the reason why the flash flood warning is in this green polygon so take note of the very localized nature to the north and to the south uh, rain but not as significant as this polygon now this flash flood warning uh, it goes, it isn't affecting until 530, but it may get extended beyond that. And these green icons indicate reports of uh, some significant flash flooding, whether it be parking lots, uh, streets, and uh, urban areas. There's more activity in eastern Connecticut that has to be passing through. Now, notice the southern part of the state for now, where it's been relatively quiet, and that includes places like New Bedford, where you haven't seen real heavy rain. But we do anticipate more rain this evening, overnight, and even into tomorrow morning. So those areas where you haven't seen much rain yet, there is the risk that you will see uh, some flash flooding as well because look at all the precipitation off to our west that has to come through this evening and during the uh, overnight hours. We take a look at Providence where you got sheets of rain, flooding rain and poor visibility. You go over to New Bedford and it is quiet. So to give you an idea of some of the localized nature of some of these downpours, uh, flash flood or the flood watch for the entire area with the exception of Cape Cod and the islands until tomorrow afternoon. Watch means potential or possibility, whereas a warning means either flooding is imminent or is occurring. And we're in the occurring uh, stage right now, especially uh, in the Providence Cranston area. Have more updates on this situation that's unfolding coming up in a little bit. All right, Tony, thank you. We have team coverage of this severe weather event. Matt Paddock is at Atwell's Avenue in the capital city, but we begin with Alexandra Leslie, who is live at Atwood Avenue in Cranston. And Alexandra, police were blocking off the road there for a portion of time. They were. They were trying to stop smaller four-door sedans from passing through, maybe letting some larger trucks take their own risk, but they have since left probably to track other details in the city. Right now, cars are just kind of going for it, and before police got here, they were going for it as well. So take a look at our video we shot a couple of hours ago. We barely just got through this flooding ourselves and took cover in this parking lot here. Now the water reached up ahead of some car headlights. Someone even decided to take a jump in to see how deep the water was. At one point, it reached well past their ankles. We quickly pulled into this plaza as I just mentioned, as did some other folks, to try and wait out these heavy downpours. So I've been here a good 45 minutes, and I, everybody's driving through it. I mean, what's the matter with people? I mean, I don't understand, you know. <laughs> you don't drive through and you get stuck. Well, guess what? People are still driving through right now. You can see some of the impacts with the splashing uh, heading towards us right now, and you can see a... Uh, Looks like someone may be dealing with a car backfire up by that uh, stoplight up there, probably due to driving through this flood water is not recommended right now, obviously. Now, in addition to this spot where we are at Randall Street and 
Um, at Wood Ave, police are also saying to avoid the usual spots, Wilbur Ave, Oaklawn Ave, Fletcher Ave, Cranston Street at Niantic, as well as Park and Reservoir. Avoid those spots to avoid what just happened behind us. For now, reporting live in Cranston, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Alexandra, thank you. Moving now to the capital city, we'll get right over to Matt Paddock, who is on Atwell's Avenue. And Matt, what are the conditions like where you are? Well, Kayla, I'm here on the 700 block of Atwell's Ave, and as you can see, it's pouring here. But we're really seeing the aftermath of that damage right here. Providence water just left. And what I'm holding right now, this is a part of the street here on Atwell's Ave. We've got a puddle here that's probably about knee deep, and that's starting to flood here and get underneath the asphalt, which is causing the bubbling you're going to see here on the side of the road. Now, at one point when I first got here, those currents were so strong that they were for forcing these traffic cones right underneath the vehicles. And as you can see right here at this car, this is all part of the street. Now we're gonna be here throughout all of the shows at the four, the five, and the six. So make sure you're staying with 12 News, both on air and online for those latest developments. We're live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.